Hello everybody, this is Simon with the ninth episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Land. World 4 got a theme completely unique to this game. The city and as such features obviously all original levels, most of which are good. This one here has already a gimmick that is very unique and very interesting and also a little secret right at the start. Oh fucking hell, I remember this one. So anyway, while well, this wastes our time. <laughs> I always think of you, you know. Let's talk about the level gimmick already. Um, the balloons move up and down and serve just as platforms. The little graphical effect of them shrinking and expanding is absolutely pointless, really. Which is good, because otherwise they would be really, really small at points. Um, it interests me most because uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 did a lot of those with um, stuff coming from the background, which was also shrinking and expanding as it fit. And um, this time, I mean, it's a Game Boy game and it kind of debuted here. I found that interesting and I spare you the second loop because coins are completely pointless anyway. <laughs> but yeah, this stage is nothing to write home about, really. You'd expect a real rise in difficulty from the last world and I'd say it definitely is the most difficult world in the game, mostly due to checkpoint placement and stuff like that. But in general, it isn't really ball crunchingly hard like the Super Nintendo games. I mean, this level here just uh, flows along nicely, which is a good thing, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, apart from, as I said, the checkpoints being spaced out more than in previous levels, um, it is just hop from balloon to balloon. For what it's worth, by the way, I do think that the background, the completely original and newly drawn one, is really good. I think it's nice and detailed, it looks fine and uh, the visibility is not too big of an issue. As such, I didn't miss this one here. <laughs> uh, yeah, This background on the other hand, it's not too busy but it's just a complete and utter mess. And yes, I'm going to go through this bonus because I hate all of you. No, seriously, because the end is at the end, otherwise I would just say fuck it and jump down. But I want to get all of them letters. Not going to get the completely pointless coins here anyway. But yeah, the difficulty curve of this game, as I said, is completely all over the place. We already had the most difficult level, which was the first iteration of this horrible, horrible gimmick. And um, from now on the levels will get, um, well, tough-ish but never really anything that will keep you occupied too long, in my opinion. And I don't know, I haven't played this one as a wee lad, um, just having a Game Boy with no real way to practice beforehand, but anyway, let's go on to the DK blimp, which is here for some reason. It's a completely unique area with the most busy background of them all, really, they dropped the ball on that one here, and it's also uh, pretty hard. This uh, section at the very start oh, gave me so much trouble in the past. And we already got all four Kong letters. What are they for? Well, for the gimmick, of course. It's very random and out of the left field. But um, it got a nice enough out of me when I first saw it. That was a cool set piece, by the way, with the cannon. And um, I do like it. Um, it could have been something else but Kong letters, in my opinion. But I think they worked pretty well because well, they already had the assets for them. The G is a bitch to get, by the way, because the Hogwash gets in the way um, really well, but you don't really need it, so it's a moot point. You will need all of those here, and they are kind of dickishly placed at first glance, but the hitboxes are really generous on Kong letters, so it's not a big issue at all to get them, in my opinion. This singer here, however, is an issue, because if you keep going, then it will hit you, and that's not fun. I want to keep going. So yeah, I do think you could maybe roll jump trickery your way out of having the G, but I wouldn't recommend it if I were you. Quick last bonus at the end. And a K in a bonus level, which means that this, yes, this is the actual K. And those guys here combined with the camera, hmm, no end of issue. Little interesting trivia, I hit this guy even though he's unro uh, he's in his rolled up stage, by the way. The bonus plops you down behind the O. Hmm. And also behind this Kong barrel, which means if you die at the end, you will have seen not a single coin uh, Kong barrel in the whole stage, which is kind of infuriating. 
Anyway, this guy here I hit unrolled and he didn't die. So, little change from DKC. Um, you don't have to hit him unrolled with DD, you just hit, have to hit him two times. Random trivia. And this guy here, I thought you had to jump on him to get the G, but it turns out, Teta! But the hitbox is just generous enough, enough asset on the Kong letters that you can just jump. To think I spent a minute or so trying to figure out how to get tire up there. <laughs> so, best music in the game. Hands down, original music at least. Fantastic. Also something smells fishy. Right here. Oh, hello guys. This level here will require you to roll jump. For bonuses, fortunately not for the level itself. It's also pretty damn fun in my opinion. And look at this here. You can jump through the top of this one here. Ship levels, you should have done this too, really. So, quick word of note, why is this level called Balloon Barrage, when the first level obviously was full of balloons? Well, well this is too much fun by the way. <laughs> well, the manual fucked up, basically. This level should have been called Construction Site Fight, as the first level was called. And... Pretty sneaky. Well, that's that, by the way. Um, and I wasn't fast enough for the balloon again, but I'm going to make it up. By my awesome roll jumping skills. Really, the physics are extremely porked, and I'm pretty happy that the game doesn't require me to do them for anything but the K and a few coins. A kind of quirky timing here. I was expecting to land on that guy, damn it. Also, the physics on the um, barrels are not their best, but anyway. Yeah, I was saving this barrel for this one, because it's just a barrel of loves. And uh, this here is really tricky, and extremely risky, but, uh, whatever. And um, all you're missing is a few coins extra, so I didn't really want to redo all of this, just for seeing the bonus. And again, you get plopped out um, behind the end, which is, as I said, kind of a design oversight in my opinion. But uh, it's not like it does really matter, and if you know what you're doing, you can just re-get it. And that hawkwash was completely pointless, but that's also good, because jumping on moving enemies in the air is kind of a pain, of course. We're on the roll, so let's finish with the fourth level, because those go by really quickly. As said, they are not particularly hard, though this one here is, I think, the hardest level in this world, with the coolest beginning, though. <laughs> Ooh, awesome! Um, just because moving barrels are a pain, still not as hard as that one stage in Donkey Kong Country by any means. Um, yeah, generally, this world here is definitely the best in the game, in my opinion, just because um, it gets the concept of flow completely right in most points. As with this level, with a few notable shitty exceptions coming right up. Here, don't go as fast as you can because you will hit the singer. It's a major dick move, in my opinion, because otherwise you can just hit the barrel and go, go, go. Most of the time there aren't any enemies in the way anyway, so it's not like they had to uh, account for that. Ah, this crusher here, for example, is also kind of a dick move if you're Diddy, because then you lose flow completely. What's the point? Um, you can hit a few very interesting shortcuts in this level just by shooting too early, basically. And shooting upwards and to the right, for example. And I didn't miss that one either. Um, I had a few, but lost the recordings. Didn't want to redo that, so... Yeah. Also, kind of a pointless bonus is you just run, then you will get it. And the tire is also completely... Pointless. Yeah. Repeating myself. I'm so sorry. So, nice beginning to this world, and it's going to end nicely too. For now, got half of it done. Up to the first half again. Thank you very much for your attention.